Hi students, I hope all are fine. So we are in the chapter a special request and we have reached a place where Sally and Srini are trying to speak to Bud, isn't it? So what was a comedian, isn't it? Comedian and also a lyricist. So they were trying to fool him saying there was one who was very quick witted, who was very cunning. So he said Sally is 12 and Srini is a 13. But let us see what was the response of but. How is that possible? You are twins, Ashok asked with an incredulous smile. You see, Sally is 12 minutes older than me, Srini said seriously. Ashok laughed at the kid's wit. Would he grant them a special request? Of course he would. It was a touching request. Please, Mr. Bird, we'd love to see great grandfather laugh. You were a comedian as well, aren't you? Sally said in all earnestness. Srini added, persuasion with appeal a written laugh in his wide eyes. Okay. So, what we see here, they spoke to Bhatt or Ashoka Bhatt, saying they were, they were of a different age. But Ashok knew that they were twins. So, he asked the twins, but you are twins, how can you, how can you have, how can you be of different age? Then, Sally added, saying, okay, Sally is 12 minutes older than me, said Srini. So Ashobot was very taken up by the way he answered. So he laughed. These children came in order to have a special request with a to, to be given to the comedian, to, to be given to Ashok. So let us see what was that request. The request was only this, that they wanted to see their great grandfather laugh. They just wanted to see the great grandfather laugh. So that was the request. Request that they wanted from Ashok. But Ashok began song after song was applauded as he peppered them with puns, one liners, and riddles. He fired good old jokes and regaled them with brand new ones my father who observed sorry my father who served in world war ii was once asked did you ever kill anyone and he replied in a soft voice probably i was the cook so ravikant i hope the cooks here are under surveillance ashok said jacob jo jacob johnson an ex-serviceman himself roared with laughter at that one okay so there was a special request made to the comedian so he just took it he, he said he would show justice to that request then he began the performance began ashok began his performance he sang song after song and all the songs were very much Uploaded. Oh, everyone clapped for his songs and so on, and he was very happy. Not only that, his songs were all, all, all been sung with the difference of meaning, difference of comics. There were one-line songs, and then there were riddles. So all those things made his song very enriching, and everyone enjoyed it. And he also started saying jokes, okay, some old jokes. And also he covered the old jokes or added the old jokes with the new ones. Then he said, one joke he said was this, that his father served in the World War II, okay, in the Second World War. Then someone asked, it seems, whether he had killed anyone. Then his father said, yes, probably. Then he said, I was the 
he said that he was to cook so being a cook you must you might have to kill certain things isn't it certain animals or like uh, maybe chicken or fish okay you may have to kill isn't it so that must have been the reason why his father said yes i have killed i was to cook then ravikant was a and then he he say he told the revican okay revican i think all the cooks here are under surveillance because they are going on killing so many animals in order to make them make food in order to prepare food then jacob johnson who was jacob johnson jacob johnson was a great grandfather so he was a ex military man ex service man so he once he heard this joke he roared in laughter he started laughing like anything so he was going on laughing when he heard this joke okay this joke is that that someone asked his father whether while serving in the second world war whether he had killed anybody and his father said yes probably i have killed because i i was the cook okay then he told revikant okay, revikant i think the cooks here are under surveillance they are under observation because they are also killing so many things in order to prepare food um, they are slaughtering animals in order to prepare food so when this joke was heard joke was joke was uh, said Revikant's father Jacob Johnson he roared in laughter because he was a military man. Okay, let us see what happened. All the while, Asho kept an eye on the great grandfather, but the old man was not moved by the humor that had everyone wiping their tears or holding their sides from the ache brought down by uproarious laughter. This is such an emotional moment for everyone he said even the cake is in tears the children rolled on the floor laughing ashok went on till he was hoarse and furiously funny but he never moved the old man never a ghost of a smile and never a suspicion of moisture in the eyes he was astounded fortunately for ashok dinner was announced okay so what happened the great grandfather who oh, he laughed for only one joke okay after that ashok was keeping on looking at this old man but he never laughed after that he was just staying there without moving oh everyone in the audience everyone among the audience they were laughing they were uh, crying in tears and so on because of a, a laugh okay and they were all having aches because they were going on uh, laughing but this old man was there he did not move at all he was just simply staying there but when he heard this joke about uh, the military man about the cook he roared in laughter after that he said ashok said even the cake is in tears means to say the last two one who was not uh, not laughing he when he started laughing he said okay even the cake is in tears so the children also started laughing it was such a funny joke so immediately after that also he start saying jokes but the old man did not move he was not touched by any other jokes not even a ghost of smile came on his face face but uh, for the good of ashok dinner was announced and he stopped the stopped his performance okay so it's a, a joke in it there was a joke for which this old man laughed because he was not moved by any other joke except only this joke okay so let us see what happens next 
okay in the next class so today i think this would be enough so next we have vocabularies incredulous meaning feeling or showing disbelief appeal and earnest request astounded to fill with wonder or amazed okay so we have a worksheet also you need to answer the questions with reference to the context so first one how is it that possible there are three questions so you need to read it and answer same way second one also probably i was i was the cook for that also there are three questions so just find out the answers so i hope today's class is clear to you thank you and bye